There goes the bear, guys. He's starting. Whoa! 18 years of age. Full grown. Current status, not married. Whoa. And this is my sister, Maureen, who's carrying a Wow, it's an actual bear. Inside, there's a reward. Peanuts in the shell. All the bears get on these during the day. They roll the Look at the bear. forth on the ground, and the peanuts fall out. However, he's a show bear. He's a faster way to do the job. He gets comfortable, rolls onto his back, and dumps the contents right in his mouth. Oh, that's so We also cool. have another male black bear by the name of Misha. He drags the ball to the swimming pool, submerges it, and the peanuts float to the top. They all have a different way of solving the same problem. They're very clever. Or, as they say in Massachusetts, wicked smack. Now, that's a cute bear. He's going to get weighed in. He's trying to gain weight for this upcoming winter. That's what bears do. Last winter, right before he went to bed at his heaviest, he weighed in at 520 pounds. 520? 514 today and growing. He weighs 514 pounds? He loves to swim. That bear, uh, that bear is, is 514 pounds, right, Dad? Oh, now you're going to ride that? Uh, he's 514, you know, the bear. You know, the thing of it, the he bear's does big. everything backwards. But uh, well, that's just the way he is. He's a clown. All he wants to do is make people laugh. And he's oh. working as hard as he can. Oh, thank you. We appreciate the good audience. Look at his oh, yeah! That was awesome! Thank you for that. that bear weighs 5... That bear weighs 514. If that bear's the same as Uncle the Giant's weight, Dad... Dad... If that bear is like the same weight as Uncle the Giant... Yeah. Wow. If that bear's big, right, Dad? Yeah. Place it over here. Ice cream! It's, it's gonna be eating ice cream. Ice cream yeah. uh, he does not like barrels that are open and up. So the first thing he will do is tumble it. Show him how it's done. And watch your bare feet. All right, hold the steady. And if anyone comes in here and tries to take that barrel, jump them. You know, in 18 years, we've never lost a barrel. I'll put that there perfectly. You climb up, better get your cameras ready, because we're going to stand him up tall and proud. It's a beautiful sight, and you can count on it. He does it every show. Except this show. What do you mean you want to know for That bear is 514. Yeah. That was twice as us. Yeah, that's they right. Would you stand up in this direction? I bet they'd like to see it over here. Wouldn't you? Yeah. What's the average size for a bear? I don't know. I don't know. Like 500 maybe? I didn't think so. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, but he'd like to get some more applause. Wow. Well, isn't he a handsome fellow? I bet some of you would like to take a home with you, wouldn't you? It would be a long car ride home. Almost as long as the car ride home with those two pop guns you've got. Time for quick easy frisbee. Here it comes. This we can. He hands it back, and then he gets a little bit of money. That's how they play the game. Uh, sir, would you try that one more time since you're right there in position? Yes, you. And you'll notice that after every stunt, he gets a reward. That's what the ice cream is for. We have to pay them to do the work. They're like people. They don't work for free. A young man, could you carry that thing over here, please? You know, 
These two play frisbee all the time. You should see them down at Hampton Beach. Down there in the sun and the sand. Him and his speed up. Makes quite a sight. Now this fellow's the biggest bears and ball player we have. Off the best. He's supposed to sit down and catch the ball and run it to the hoop. What do we get today? Good catch. And you notice that the ball is made out of hard plastic. The reason is, every time we give him a real bears and ball, he deflates it. That was actually funnier about five seasons ago. Unless you're a Patriots fan. Nailed it! Another good catch. He'll hand it back in, and then he'll meander his way across the ring. He likes to pretend that he's a land shark. But once you get into position, would you mind standing up to your full six feet, seven inches tall? Grab he's that six ball, foot seven? Yeah. And dunk it in Ron Strowman's taller. Look, he's getting too fast. Dad, I wonder if the Big Show's taller. Dad, I think Big Show's taller. No, he has never lost a game. He came close once, but he ate the rep. Now we'll try to show you the most complex stuff that he does. We take a bunch of props, set them up around the ring. He comes along, picks them up, makes a pile out of them. What are you doing? Oh. You're making a spectacle of yourself. You can't just sit there and bear it all, you know. He made that one himself. He loves to sit there and count his little things. And he started doing that when he was just a little fellow. Maureen saw him and has encouraged him ever since. Sometimes they make up their own material. All right, Mr. Watson, I think you've done a pretty good job this show. Folks, do you think he deserves a reward? Yeah! No reward, yeah! All oh, right. Yeah. Young man, I want you to eat this ice cream very slowly. He just you know, ate the entire thing. Right yeah. on his face is when that little boy disappeared an hour ago. So folks, what do you think of our friend Penny to Watson? Yeah. Now, we're going to take you back home. Don't go away. We're coming right back out as fast as we can with our next performers. We just have to set up a few props and we shall return. Are you folks having a good time? Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. You know that the Bears do work very hard to try to entertain you. Now, our team is bringing out little props for some little bears. Over here, my daughter Willa, my cousin Sienna, my wife Sylvia, and also joining us, my cousin Fred Engler. We're going to be bringing in our little cubby bears. And you're going to get to see what kindergarten looks like. Let's get into position. Are we ready? All right, here they come. Cubsy, Cubsy, Cubsy Bear. Seven months of age. Over here is Milky, and this is Darla. They are drinking a mixture of milk and honey. They don't like it, but we make them drink. It's a short drink, and then we'll get started. All right, so over here with my wife Sylvia and I is Little Darla, and we're going to start using the scooter. This is one of the very first things we taught Darla to do. Now, these two puppies arrived here at the end of March, and they moved into our kitchen where they lived for five and a half weeks. Sylvia says they're the worst house guests we've ever had. They tore the place apart. Down come the curtains, off comes the tablecloth, all of the soft furniture gets chewed up, and the house is in disarray. Every time we open the refrigerator, we had two little helpers pull everything out on the floor. It was pandemonium. Now, 
those parts just sit over here. We gotta get moving into your routine. Get it? Go ahead. Right to the swing chair. She's in a real hurry today. All right, kid. Now you'll notice that there's a slight difference between these two little cubby bears. They're both girls. However, Hildy over there is a little bit longer and lengthier and dark black. Darla here is shorter in stature and she is brown in color. She's what is known as a cinnamon. And she's going to remain brown her entire life. She's got a pink nose, a pink eye, uh, light colored muzzle, pink pads on her feet. Her coloring reminds me of a chocolate lab. However, the temperament is not the same. Uh, she's cinnamon and she's a spicy cinnamon. All right, let's head back the other way. We're running the bear mobile. And on a good day, we can get about 13 miles per gallon of ice cream with this rig. Not too shabby for this neck of the woods. And in our effort to go green, we've been working on a hybrid. One that runs on milk or ice cream. That was still in development. Just like that joke. Now we're on the ball and track. This ball and track actually belongs to Victoria, our 31-year-old painting bear. She learned to do this very stunt when she was just a little tubby. And she has graciously loaned us this so we could teach these two. It's a tough stunt because they have to be very careful on top. All right, kid. Down over there, where are we going? She says she's going to climb up here. All right. Why don't you stand up and wave to the audience? Oh, yeah. Very good. Down off of there, and uh, oh, she says she wants to ride again. Well, we're all done with that. No, uh, I know you want to, but uh, well, I guess she says we're going for a ride. All right, we'll ride short right there. Yeah, you got to get on the back side here, kid. You can't stand on the front. There you go. Here we go, head over here. You know, these two actually have a routine. It's just we have no idea what it is yet. <laughs> Up on the barrel, drop down out of sight, see no bear at all. And only one small part of her anatomy... Nope, it won't show up. Can't know that we're dancing. <laughs> yes, yeah, we're all confused. She said, all right. What the? Oh, I, I, I don't know what the bear is doing. You no, know, we can find another kid to wear that bear suit. What the heck? Your job is not secure. Aww. Well, in the meantime, we will get this bear. Who is this bear? You have a very Aww. short attention span. Shorter Which than one hands off? You're trying to get him to. Yeah, I'm gonna keep trying until we do it again. I guess. You're trying to get him to. Yes, we'll, we'll just wait here for you. Thank you. Back to dancing. Well, oh, she's eager, isn't she? It's dancing, see? And we'll get from there. Now we can climb up again. Yes. Now, drop down and out of sight. And only one small part of the anatomy shows up at the bottom. There we go. She's eating ice cream right through the barrel. Have you ever seen such a thing in your life? That's the only time the ice cream is truly safe. You all want to hold the ice cream pony, but you can't let them. They tend to break the handle. All right, kid. Now you're going to run over there, I'm sure. How about you follow this? You see that? Yes, you'll we'll dance some more for me. Right. Well, you might want to get that thing out. Because we're right here. One more time around. And then a little tasty. Now, if you jump up on top, get into position. We have a rider, but now we need our driver. Here she comes. This is our Boo Bear driver. Now, we started doing this stunt back in 1987. We had a couple of puppy bears back then by the name of Ursula and Onyx. And ultimately this stunt did not work out like you see it. My father ended up riding in the front and Onyx the male would push from the back here. And you're talking the whole time, aren't you? Yes. Uh, you better watch where you're going. You're not really, you better be careful. Watch out. 
we just left the scene of an accident. Where did you get a driver's license? What's that? Massachusetts? <laughs> the things they say in the ring? Better wash a pump out of the street. Is there anyone here from Massachusetts? Not me. Oh, I'm from New Jersey, you know it's just our bread and butter. How about Rhode Island? Very good. Connecticut. Nicely done. What about Maine? Nah. Outstanding. Vermont. Yeah. Doesn't matter, they're all upside down anyway. How about New Hampshire? Let's see, anywhere else? New Jersey! New Jersey! Huh? Texas! New Jersey! We are glad you came here. New Jersey! What do you think of our little friend, Starlight Hill? Yeah, now we can go on the train ride to the Scotch Show. Alright. Okay. Woo woo, look at the bears! Woo look at the bears, so cool. Well, we're gonna go on the train. Alright, let's see. 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 It, that, that, that was pretty cool, right? Yeah, we'll have to do it after. Come on. So, guys, that was, yeah. murder, the, 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 that was the bear show, guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Definitely for this one, because this was pretty cool. And, and, don't walk in the main. And, uh, yeah, and then, so we'll be able to, um, alright, guys, so, um, so hope you guys enjoyed like this video because I haven't been at this I haven't been on this on this place for 11 years. So make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video in the train. Bye.